a few bubbles here and there in your pool are totally fine. But when all of those bubbles stay on the water and start to accumulate, well, you've got a problem, pool foam. Don't worry, pool foam is actually really easy to get rid of and even easier to prevent. Check it out. So what causes pool foam? Well, pool foam bubbles are made up of more than just air. Foam in your pool usually means there's a high organic load in the water. In other words, you've got more organic material than can be dissolved by your sanitizer, and this causes the water to quote unquote thicken. As the pool water is agitated by swimmers or your pool filter system, bubbles form. The surface of those bubbles is made from that thick organic buildup. So instead of popping, they just stay on the surface and become foam. Pool foam is either caused by one, people using your pool, or two, your pool chemicals. So let's start with the human side of what causes pool foam and how to prevent it. Number one, hair care products and other toiletries. Things like deodorant, lotion, makeup, perfume, fancy cologne, and yes, even Axe body spray will leave organic contaminants behind in your pool water. Even residue in your hair from shampoo and conditioner can build up enough to become a pool foam problem. You can prevent that buildup by rinsing off before you swim, even after shampooing. Now, if you have a lot of product in your hair, like hairspray, gel, or mousse if you're stuck in the 80s, wash and rinse before diving in. If you've already got a pool foam problem, you can fix it by shocking your pool, preferably with chlorine shock. This eliminates contaminants and brings your pool water back to its normal, clear state. Number two, soap and laundry detergent. You know how your clothes still smell fresh after they've been washed? Well, there's detergent residue on them and that residue can get on your body and then in your pool. Again, rinsing off before swimming helps, but you can also try switching to a fragrance-free laundry detergent. And if you've already got foam, yep, you'll wanna shock that pool. Number three, lots of swimmers. So think of all that residue that you can leave behind in the water. Now multiply that by the number of people using your pool. Then add other contaminants like uh, bodily fluid. You can prevent it by making a rule that anyone using your pool has to rinse off first. And if you've already got a foam problem from all those people, guess what? Time to shock that pool. Real quick before we continue, if you're looking for an easy to follow tutorial that'll answer all your pool questions, go check out our pool care handbook and video course. You'll get over 30 in-depth video lessons and a step-by-step -step downloadable guide covering everything you need to know about pool maintenance. It's packed with money-saving tips so you can save money and time keeping your swimming pool clean. This is the ultimate manual for every type of pool, including in-ground, above-ground, and in-tex blow-up pools. The best part is we always keep it up to date so once you buy it, you have access to the latest and greatest version for life. So because you're watching this video, you can go to swimuniversity.com slash pool and use the promo code video. Okay, so what if it's not the people in your pool that's causing the foam problem? Let's talk about pool chemicals and water chemistry. First things first, test and balance your pool water. Test the water using test strips or a liquid test kit. Then, balance the alkalinity first. It should be between 100 parts per million and 150 parts per million with 125 parts per million being ideal. Then, balance the pH level if needed. It should be between 7.4 and 7.6 with 7.5 being ideal. Next, balance the calcium harness level. It should be between 175 and 225 parts per million for a vinyl and fiberglass pool, and between 200 and 275 parts per million for concrete and plaster pools. Finally, balance the sanitizer level based on whatever sanitizer you use according to the manufacturer's directions. Once the water is balanced, wait a few hours to see whether the pool foam dissipates. If it doesn't, you'll need to, you guessed it, shock that pool. Now you can prevent pool foam by testing your water frequently and keeping it balanced. Cheap chemicals can throw off your pool chemistry, so buy pool chemicals from reputable brands. Speaking of balancing your pool water, keep an eye specifically on calcium hardness levels. Low calcium hardness levels can cause pool foam. When the calcium level drops too low, the water becomes too soft and that leads to pool foam. You can fix this by adding calcium hardness increaser or calcium chloride to your pool. Follow the manufacturer's instructions for the right dosage. Now, another pool foam chemical culprit, algicide. If you add algicide to your pool and there's no algae for it to kill, it will thicken the water and create foam. 
Also, if you use too much algaecide, even if there is algae in your pool to kill, it can cause foaming. The type of algaecide matters too. Look for polyquat 60 algaecide. It's less likely to produce pool foam than other algaecides. And luckily, algaecide pool foam is an easy fix. If you just wait, it should dissipate on its own after a few days. And while you're waiting, skim the foam from the surface of your water to speed up the process. Okay, so now you know how to treat and prevent pool foam. But what do you do if you need a fast remedy? Well, if you're in a pinch, like say you're having guests coming over, you can use an anti-foam chemical, also called a foamer. It's a quick cure for pool foam, but remember, it only treats the symptom, not the cause. You still need to address the underlying problem eventually. And that's it. That's everything you need to know about getting rid of pool foam. Keep your water balanced, use quality chemicals in the proper amounts, and rinse off before diving in. You should be able to avoid any pool foam problems. If you missed anything or have any questions, please leave a comment to let us know and to help your fellow pool owners. And hit the like button if you found this video helpful. If you wanna learn more about pool maintenance and troubleshooting, subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one and check out the pool care handbook and video course at swimuniversity.com pool. Don't forget to enter the promo code video to get 10% off. That's it. Thanks again and happy swimming.